every day I was taking that blue side box out of the closet and, and putting on top of my bench. And uh, just by watching that stones move inside, I thought about why don't I make a piece of jewelry that looks like a blue side box. I'm Moritz Glick, I'm a jewelry designer, and we are here in my studio in New York. I'm from Brazil, from this town called Belo Horizonte. If you translate the word, it's beautiful horizon. So I grew up there where my family still live. I had a shoe company back then. I opened the company in 1985, and I moved to New York in 1991. I bought my first bench, I put in my bedroom, a very small room, and my bed was here, my bench was right here. I had a VCR, and then I would start buying tapes and watching how to make jewelry and books, and I was playing, playing, playing. So my first collection I made out of silver, and I did for the gay community, was the, the triangle was the symbol. Literally walking into the stores and showing, and I was selling. So they were buying everything I was making. I was like, oh, I was so thrilled. Right? Like, it's, this is like, I'm going somewhere here. And then I decided to open my business. Wow. <laughs> I love to build up like crazy clasps and I'll make things that are invisible, that I spend a lot of time thinking about how we're gonna make that happen. We use crazy techniques for people that work with us here. So why you have to do all this way? Why it's so difficult? But there is no other way. That's the way it has to be done. I don't know if I would have the courage to leave Brazil the way I left and in where I am now. What I achieved in life and uh, what I did with my career and how happy I am. <laughs>